cells in your body are like construction workers building an apartment building. They construct and grow on a fibrous scaffold, shown here in pink, that's very similar to the scaffold used to support a building during construction. But unfortunately, construction sites are often targets for vandalism. Unruly teenagers who come in the night and tear down the scaffold just for the sake of wreaking havoc. In the construction site of the body, these vandals are cancer cells. Except instead of tearing down the scaffold, they add more, increasing the stiffness to promote their growth over the growth of healthy cells. But which comes first, the cancer cells or the stiff scaffold? It turns out, actually, that the answer is both. Recent studies have shown that increasing scaffold stiffness can be used as a predictive factor of where cancer is likely to spread within the body. If we could detect microscale variations in tissue stiffness, we could predict where cancer is likely to develop and stop it before a tumor actually forms. Most tumors occur within a few millimeters of the surface of the tissue that surrounds your organs. But this is still too deep for light to reach, which makes it really difficult for doctors to image cancer inside the body at the cellular level. They usually get around this by removing some tissue from the body and screening that for cancer. But this severely limits the area over which we can search, and small, high-risk regions are easily missed. You may have heard of the Microscope in a Needle Project. It's a well-known research program at UWA. For my PhD, I'm developing a new embodiment of the microscope in a needle that can measure microscale variations of stiffness millimeters deep in tissue without removing anything from the body. Using fiber optics inside of a hypodermic needle, we can deliver light deeper than it could reach from the surface. We vibrate the needle to induce a small amount of motion in the tissue and measure the resulting displacements with nanoscale precision. By measuring how much the tissue moves in response to this vibrating needle, we can generate images of the mechanical properties of the surrounding area that make it much easier to spot precancerous regions. This technique is much less invasive than traditional approaches, and the added ability to search over a much larger area drastically decreases the likelihood that at-risk regions will be missed. Think of it like putting up motion detectors around your construction site to stop the vandals before they can cause any serious damage. And before you know it, the construction site will be secure and the body will be cancer-free. Thank you.